day. As we said in our previous video, the value of inventories is the amount which inventory shown in books and calculated as a law of cost and net realizable value. We gave brief explanation to the NRV and on the other hand mentioned that cost is the money which we gave to purchase the item. But how will keep accounting if purchase price differs one from another in every portion of the purchase? Cost can be arrived by using first in, first out or weighted average costing methods. Also in study books, you can face last in, first out method, but IFRS does not permit the use of this one. Let's try understand with examples. Suppose that business made following transactions during April. At the 7th of April, business purchased 20 pair of shoes each from Tunisian. At the 16th of April, business again purchased 20 pair of shoes, but now each from 12 Asian. And at the 22nd of April, we sold 10 pair of each from 15 Asian. When we came to the reporting date, there will be problem regarding valuation of the inventory. At the end of the period, we know that we have 30 shoes in our store, but we don't know how much is the total value of shoes. If there will be not any sale, we could easily say that the value of our inventory is 440 is yen, the total amount which you gave to purchase these goods. But in this case, we made a sale and our inventory decreased in quantity of 10 pairs. Question is that in what amount should our inventory value should decrease? Purchase transactions will be same with the both methods. But we can't say same thing about the sale. By using first in, first out method, our decrease in inventory account will be in amount calculated at the first portion's purchase price. In otherwise, by using weighted average costing method, decrease in inventory account will be in amount calculated at average price. It means by using first method, our inventory amount as a reporting date will be 330 asian. In otherwise, 330 asian. Let's make more detailed calculation. As I said, IFRS prohibits to use last in, first out method, so we'll ignore it. If we'll use first in, first out method in calculation, we'll summarize first purchase with second purchase, then decrease in amount of the sales cost. In this method, cost will be calculated with price of bulk of purchase till inventory regarding that bulk will be finished. Then, cost will be calculated with the price of second purchase bulk and etc. In this case, Decrease will be calculated with 10 ASEAN per item. So, with this method, our inventory amount will be 340 ASEAN. First steps of the calculation will be the same in the weighted average cost method. We'll summarize first purchase with second purchase, then decrease in amount of sales cost. Plus this method, Cost will be calculated with a different way. We'll divide total purchase price to the total item quantity. So with this method, our inventory amount will be 330 ASEAN. Let's take a look to the next example. Suppose that we were requested to calculate inventory value with both of meters for the 13th, 30th of April based on the information given in the timetable. Let us start with first in, first out method. First two transactions are purchase 
and it will be easy to calculate total value of inventory. We'll just multiply quantity with the purchase price. So at the end of 6 April, we'll have inventory in a value 4,020 yen. Third transaction is sale. While calculating cost of sold items, we'll imagine that first we'll have sold early purchased items and after they will finish, we'll start to the sale of further purchased ones. So in our example, we can see that quantity of our total sale is 180. Before the sale, we had 360 items in our store. 150 of them is from first purchase and 200 of them and 10 of them from second purchase. It means that cost of 150 items will be calculated with the purchase price of first bulk and cost of rest 30 items will be formed from the price of second purchase. So total cost of sale will be 1,806 days yen. For calculation of the end of the day inventory balance, will decrease previous total inventory value in amount of sales cost. End balance will be 2160. Next two transactions are purchases and will be calculated in the same way like first two. Value of total inventory will be increased in a cost of purchased items. 200 items were sold in the 25th of April. 180 of them consist of remaining items from our previous purchase, which price is 12 ASEAN, and the rest 20 items from further purchase, which price is 11 ASEAN. Total cost of sale and inventory value for the end of the day will be calculated with the same way. Another purchase transaction took part in 28th of April and by using first in first out method our inventory balance at the end of the month will be 4,480 ASEAN. Now let's make a calculation with the same date by weighted average costing method. First two transactions are purchases and will be the same with the previous calculation. We will just multiply quantity with the purchase price. So, at the end of 6 April, we'll have inventory in a value 4,020 yen. Main difference between methods will be in the identification of the sales cost. By this method, we have to calculate average cost for the items exactly before sale process. In this case, you can see that inventory value for the before sale time is 4,020 yen. And we have 360 items in our store. So we'll divide total amount to the quantity to find average cost for one item and then multiply it with the quantity of sold goods. Total cost of the sale will be 2,010 ASEAN. Based on the calculation, end of the day inventory balance will be decreased with previous total value of inventory in amount of sales cost. So, end balance will be 2,010 ASEAN. Next two transactions are purchases and will be calculated in the same way, like first two. Value of total inventory will be increased in a cost of purchased item. Also, calculation of the cost sold in 25th of April will be the same. We'll divide inventory value for the before sale time, 5,410 ASEAN, to quantity of items, 400 each, and then multiply it with quantity of sold goods. End of the day inventory balance will be decreased previous total inventory value 
in amount of sales cost. Another purchase transactions took part in 28th of April. And by using weighted average costing method, our inventory balance at the end of the month will be 4,330 yen. Now, we have two different end of period balances by calculation of two different methods. In the next video, we'll answer to the questions where we'll use these figures in our financial statements. How to use these figures in the calculation of the cost of sold goods. Below, you can find the link for the next video.